In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the PMT function in Excel in order to calculate loan payments. So let's begin by zooming in. So in column B, I'm going to write the annual interest rate and then the number of years that we're going to pay off the loan and then the number of payments and also the principal or the loan amount and then we're gonna calculate the monthly payment to uh, basically take care of that loan. Now let's go ahead and extend the width of column B. We're also gonna figure out the total costs and also the total interest paid. So let's say that we take a loan of $20,000 to buy a car. And let's say we want to pay it off in 10 years. And we have an annual interest rate of 5%. What is our monthly payment? How much do we need to pay every month so that we can pay off this $20,000 loan in 10 years with a 5% annual interest rate. So to figure out the monthly payment, we need to use the PMT function. But first, let's write a formula that will tell us how many payments that we need to make in the course of 10 years. Since we're making monthly payments, and we know that there's 12 months in a single year, in 10 years, there's gonna be 120 months. But to write a formula for that, we're gonna put equal the number of years in cell C3, which is 10 years, times 12. And so 10 years corresponds to 120 months, which we have here. Now, to calculate the monthly payment, type in equal PMT. And then first, we need to determine the monthly interest rate. Right now, we have an annual interest rate of 5%. So let's take the value in C2 and divide it by 12 to get the monthly interest rate. And then NPER, that's going to be the number of payments that we're going to apply to this loan, which is 120 payments. So that's going to be the value found in cell C4. And then the present value of the loan, which is 20,000. So that's the value found in C5. The other two arguments we don't need right now. So let's close the parentheses. And so the monthly payment is going to be $212.00. And 13 cents. So if you add a negative sign, you can get rid of the negative value. And so you can make it look like that. Now let's talk about the total cost of the loan. But before we do that, let's highlight this cell. So I'm going to go to home and then let's change the background color. So let's make it yellow because that's going to be our important information. That tells us how much you got to pay every month to knock out that loan. So we have to pay $212.13 for 10 years in order to pay off that $20,000 car. But what really is the total cost that we're paying? To calculate the total cost is simply the monthly payment times the number of payments. So it's going to be whatever value that we have in cell C7 times... And you can put or press shift six, actually shift eight to get the multiplication symbol. So it's C seven times the value in C four. Let's make this wider. And so the total cost that we're really paying, which is two twelve times one twenty, that's gonna be about twenty five thousand dollars. And so that's a lot. Now, the total interest that we're paying is going to be the difference between the value in cell C8 and cell C5. So let's type in equal C8 minus C5. And so we're paying $5,000 in interest, $5,455.72. And so that's a lot over the course of 10 years. Now let's go ahead and highlight this value. So I'm going to give it a red color. 
because by taking the loan, this is the amount of money that you're going to lose. Because if you think about it, which is better, instant gratification or delayed gratification? Let's say if you want the car today, you have to pay 5000 and if you round it, $500 in interest. But let's say if you save up money, and in the course of a few years, you can pay this with cash, and thus you can save this amount of money in interest if you're going to buy the same car. And typically, when you wait, the value of a car decreases. So by saving up money and waiting to buy that car, you'll probably spend less than 20000 because it's going to be worth a little less in a few years. Also, you don't have to pay the interest. So sometimes it makes sense to save up and buy things rather than taking out a loan. Because once you take out a loan, you got to pay interest. And so that puts you in a hole. But now let's say if we want to buy a house. Let's say the house is $250,000. And let's say you get a 6% interest rate and uh, you want to pay it off in 30 years. So your monthly payment is going to be $1,500. But notice the true cost of the loan. It's 289000 That's how much you can be paying in interest if you have a 6% interest rate. And so this is a huge amount to pay in interest. Now, there are some things you can do to reduce your total interest payment. The first thing that you want to get good at is you want to learn the art of negotiating. Because if you can bring down this interest rate, you can save a lot of money. So let's say if we get it down to 5%. So our interest payment, or the total interest that we're going to pay in the course of 30 years, it went down from 289000 to 233000 So you're saving a good $55,000, $56,000 right there if you can bring down your interest rate from 6% to 5%. Now, let's say if we can get it down to 4%. Look how much interest we're paying over 30 years. It's a lot less. If you can get it down to 3%, even better, 129k compared to 289k. So, it's always good to get a low fixed interest rate. Now, if you get like a variable uh, loan where the interest rate can vary, you got to be careful because if the interest rate goes up, let's say to 10%, this is how much you're going to be paying in total interest over the course of 30 years. And so it's always good to keep your interest um, as low as possible. That'll save you a lot of money in the long term. Now let's go back to, uh, let's say, a nice 4% interest rate. The second way that you can reduce the amount of interest that you pay over the long run is to pay off the loan quickly. So here we have 30 years in which we're going to pay it. And right now the total interest payment is 179k. So let's say if we get a 20 year loan instead of a 30 year loan. Notice that it dropped from 179k to 113k. So that's a that's a huge savings of almost $66,000. Now let's bring it down from 20 years to 10 years. So notice that the total interest that you'll be paying is a lot less, 53000 And so by negotiating for a better interest rate, trying to bring it down, and also paying off the loan uh, quickly, you can reduce the total interest that you're going to pay uh, for this house. Now granted, your monthly payment will increase. Let's say if we had a 30-year note, the monthly payment is only, if you round it, $1,200. If you decrease it to 20 years, it goes up to 1500 And if you decrease it to 10 years, 2500 So your monthly payment will be huge, but in the long run, you're going to save a lot of money in interest payments. So to review, if you're going to take a loan, always work on your negotiating skills. Try to bring down the interest rate as low as possible. Second, try to pay off the loan as quickly as possible in order that you can reduce the total interest that you're going to pay over the lifetime of the loan. And at the same time, uh, keep in mind what your budget is because you don't want to pay too much money per month. 
so you need to know what your limitations are. So hopefully this video not only showed you how to calculate loan payments uh, with Excel, but perhaps it also gave you more insight into uh, applying for loans and how you can save money if you're going to take that route in the long run. So thanks for watching.